Right now we are standing in front of the Brihat Samrat Yantra or to be translated in English it's the bigger version of the equatorial sundial. So as we can as we had discussed before the Lagu Samrat Yantra, the structure is very similar and you can see the Persian influence stand right on top of the wedge. As you can see the Persian type of a dome, which is uh, an Islamic influence on this uh, marvelous architecture. As we can see, there's a miniature model present right here, which might help us explain this much better. So we see that the concept is basically the same as in the Lagu Samrat Yantra. And you see that the hypotenuse makes an angle of 27 degrees, which is equivalent to the latitude of this place. And you see a miniature version of this Yantra doing the same thing. And you see the marble quadrants, or in this case, it's not marble exactly as it was in the Lagu Samrat Yantra, but rather the quadrants you see here are mounted on the equatorial plane. And the top of the hypotenuse, which is being indicated there, points to the North Celestial Pole. Now, what is the basic difference between the Lagu Samrat Yantra and this Brihat Samrat Yantra? lies mainly in terms of the precision. Whereas the Lagu Samrat Yantra gives us a precision of 20 seconds, which is its least count. This bigger version of the same Yantra here gives us a precision up to two seconds, which is indeed amazing considering the fact that the entire thing is built on, has a, the entire thing is built on stone and to have that kind of a precision is indeed marvelous. So the readings on the quadrants are similar to that of the Lagu Samrat Yantra. And as we can see, the sun has moved towards the west. So the eastern quadrant of the Brihat Samrat Yantra is what we'll be using for measuring the local time of Jaipur. So let's go ahead and we are standing on the western segment of the Brihat Samrat Yantra. And as we can see, the sun is not casting its shadow on the western marble quadrant, or in other words, the gnomon is not casting its shadow on the western quadrant. The reason why it is not doing so is precisely because the sun has crossed the meridian and has moved into the west, which means in order to get the local time of Jaipur, we will have to head towards the eastern segment of the Yantra. And another beautiful use that the pundits and the astrologers made of this yantra in the past was they used to climb these steps that we can see here and head into that Persian dome and mount a flag there and check the wind direction and use that as one of the data for predicting the climate of this region. And another beautiful observation one can make from here is that if one were to go into that dome and observe the Polaris and the Ursa Minor one would see that rotating throughout the year about the Polaris. That is, if one were to go there, say, at 8 p.m., at summer solstice, at winter solstice, and two equinox, they would note that the position of the Ursa Minor is not the same, indicating the circumpolar movement of the constellation. So now we are on the eastern segment of the Brihat Samrat Yantra, and as we can see that this part of the yantra becomes operational from 12 noon to 6 p.m. when the sun crosses the meridian and is heading towards the west. So now you guys might be wondering, now you might be wondering why have I kept my hand like this? But if just look right behind this hand and you will notice the shadow that is being cast by the gnomon on the marble quadrant. So that shadow the point at which it crosses the readings indicated, the point at which it crosses the readings indicated on the marble, it shows the local time of the Jaipur. And as we can see, or we can, if we could extrapolate that figure over time, we could see the shadow slowly moving upward, upward as sun further descends into the horizon. And finally, when it is right about near to its setting phase, one can see the shadow going up, right all the way up the eastern quadrant. So let's go and have a closer look at the reading. So right now we are standing at the eastern segment 
or the eastern wing of the Brihat Samrat Yantra and let's have a closer look at its calibrations. So let's start from the Devanagari symbol 3 here which indicates 3 o'clock and find out the local time of Jaipur. So we start from 3, it's 3-1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 3, 10, 3, 11, 3, 12, 3, 13, 3, 14, 3, 15. You can notice that the line indicating the 15th minute sticks out like an odd one out from the rest around it. So 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 